everybody. Thanks for joining. My name's Taylor. I'm a program manager on the Atlassian Foundation team. I work every day to support and accelerate the amazing work of Atlassian's global nonprofit and social enterprise partners. Hi, everyone. I'm Lauren, social impact specialist in the Atlassian Foundation, and I manage our global skilled volunteering program, Engage for Good. After a decade working in the nonprofit and social impact sector, I joined Atlassian with the goal of advancing Atlassian's mission, unleashing the potential of every team. To further support and unleash the potential of teams campaigning for social, economic, and environmental change and delivering game-changing programs for people and for planet. Working for and with nonprofits for 10 years, I can't even begin to count the at-work moments where the best intention management of innovative and impactful programs ran smack into the grinded out realities of a scrappy, all hands on deck approach to getting shit done. In these moments, I'd, I'd spend way too much time and energy hustling around the office, trying to get an answer from a partnerships lead or tracking down a key piece of program data from the depths of my inbox or drive. Didn't really work. Everyone in the office always looked a little bit something like this, trying to track down that key team member to get a little bit of work done. Management and delivery of fundraising campaigns, in-community programming, grantee partnerships, volunteering, and so much more can and should be easier on your impact-driven team. What would your social impact program and campaign look like if they were all managed in one place? Enabling you and your team to keep that same trademark hustle while working open and aligned to avoid dropping balls, losing key information, and spending time, energy, and precious resources on stubborn tasks and hack together systems. Today, Lauren and I, both really well versed in get shit done context at nonprofits and hack together systems, are going to show you how the Atlassian Foundation uses JIRA and Confluence to co create, manage, and deliver partnerships, volunteer programs, and project management. Our hope is that today's session helps you and your team imagine the multitude of ways made possible with imagination and a bit of your own customization, that JIRA can support the way you work and advance your team's mission and vision. So let's dive right in. Whether you're a nonprofit managing deliverables and reporting requirements for a funder, or a grant maker, accelerator, or ecosystem supporter working to support amazing and innovative nonprofits, stakeholder and partnership management is a fundamental piece of social impact work that can be multifaceted and let's face it, really, really overwhelming and time consuming. Balancing a multitude of partnerships, all with their own deadline dates, bespoke activities and deliverables can feel like you're drowning in can't miss to do's that require the entire team in a really sticky and challenging way to move from to do's to done's on all your tasks. Easier said than done. That said, the Atlassian Foundation uses Jira work management together with Confluence to enable us to centralize, manage, and co-create all of our work across all of our partnerships without letting key work drop. Here's how we do it. By managing the nuances of multifaceted partnership all in one place, our entire Atlassian team working on a partnership, from partnership leads to Atlassian volunteers, can get all the information they need, log relevant updates, and manage their unique partnership workflows within one JIRA issue. Take a look. This is our home base for our partnership with Room to Read, the Atlassian Foundation's longest standing education partner and grantee. Utilizing custom fields in JIRA, which you'll see here, we're able to track multiple key pieces of information, personnel, contact, financial, and so much more, all in the partnership, all in one place, while tagging in the Atlassian team members working on the partnership. JIRA has become our single source of truth for all up-to-date partnership info. So if anyone on the Atlassian team knows where to go, if they're looking for partnership information, they know where to go to JIRA. Uh, they come here for financial information, for impact data, and so much more. Going a layer deeper, we use JIRA work management issue linking to embed all of our partnership activities within the main room to read issue, which you're seeing here, to enable us to keep all room to read activities within one place. This now is the home base of our collaboration agreement with room to read our JIRA issue that enables us to track and store our partnership information, including activity areas of the grant, end of year reporting rollups, impact objectives, payment records, and more in one place. On just these two pages you've seen, 
our entire team can look across all the activities of the partnership, see the status of different work deliverables, and bring in team members where necessary to collaborate to get to do's to done, while updating key partnership info and creating a single source of truth that everyone can rely on. With an endless amount of issue types, custom fields, integrations with Drive and Dropbox, and so much more, and abilities to link between issue types, you can store, visualize, organize your social impact streams using DIRA in a way that works for you and your team. Whether you're working on a grant renewal, grant submission, end of your impact report, fundraising campaign, you can use JIRA to work for you. You can also utilize board views to view tasks within various streams of work all in one place that need to get action, or lists and calendar views to get a longer term view of how your team is working and plan ahead for renewals, reporting, and so much more. Keeping all of our partnerships and projects in one place requires a high level of workflow customization to enable all the different Atlassian teams that work together in JIRA, from employee engagement to finance to operations and governance, to manage their work in a way that works for them. This is where JIRA Works Management's custom workflows work wonders for our team. Everyone works together in one place in a way that works aligned to their unique processes. Jumping back into the Room to Read partnership on JIRA, all on one partnership issue, we have custom workflows for end of year reporting, you can see here, led by our, um, our partnerships officer. We have employee engagement initiatives led by our engagement officer, impact objective management managed by our team, and payment records for financial disbursement tracking led by our governance and operations team. That's just a start. If you use JIRA and custom workflows for the work you're actively building and trying to get out the door, like grant submissions or annual reports, you can build work, custom workflows for those too. And this is where Confluence, together with JIRA work management, comes in for us. Throughout Atlassian, collaboration and playing as a team is one of our core values. And it shows up in the way we work internally and externally with our social impact and nonprofit partners. On Confluence, we collaborate with our partners and stakeholders to develop and store materials for website communication, monitoring and evaluation and assessment frameworks with grantee partners and to manage payment schedules. And of course, we keep all these live collaborative pages embedded in JIRA and assign them custom workflows to take them from draft documents to active pages that help us govern and manage our partnerships together with our partners. For the documents you're building in Confluence that are a work in progress, because a lot of that info can be confidential, you can keep permissions locked to just your organization and team. And when you're ready and ready to collaborate with the organizations you're working with and other stakeholders, like we do in Confluence here with Room to Read, you have the flexibility to modify permissions to let in select collaborators to the work you're building. With Confluence as our go-to collaboration space with our partners, Together with JIRA Work Management as our go-to partnerships management tool internally, everything from reporting templates to meeting notes to monitoring and evaluation frameworks, all the live details and elements of our partnerships that we work on internally and with our partners, they live in one place, which means no more moments like this at the 11th hour when you're trying to get work out the door and you can't find that team member, that partner to get that work done. Thanks, Taylor. I remember the trauma of writing and repurposing grant applications and not knowing where anything was. So Jira Work Management would have made it so much easier. I've had similar struggles managing social impact programs. In a previous role, I was managing a mentoring program where we had 100 mentors and 100 mentees. And we used to manage it on this spreadsheet, which went from A to column BZ. And it was so big that we needed to print it out sticky tape it together and use multiple colored highlighters to match mentors and mentees. I wouldn't let anyone touch it for fear of this. Now I manage the foundation's skilled volunteering program, Engage for Good, which connects over 300 Atlassian employees with over a hundred purpose-driven organizations every year to deliver skilled volunteering projects. The aim is to help to increase the impact of purpose-driven organizations with less. And today I wanna to show you how you can make more impact with less. The first way with JIRA is to allocate your precious resources. 
by tracking people and projects because we know that you fight so hard to get your funding. So let's use it efficiently. With Engage for Good, we can see all our active projects on this one Jira software board. In each project, there is information about the organization, the problem that needs solving, the skills required. We can also see the volunteers that have signed up to help the organization. And their linked volunteer profiles, which contains things like their skills, role, and team, so that we can report back up to leadership on their contributions to the community. The projects go through two workflows. First, in Jira service management, where they are triaged and we assess them for feasibility and impact. If they are then accepted, it spins up a JIRA software issue. And this is where we manage the projects using a progress workflow, which is mapped to an internal design thinking process that we call the Atlassian way. In JIRA, fields and workflows are completely customizable, which means that you can make it relevant to your teams and projects. We're not gonna tell you what to do with JIRA because it's up to you. Back to my mentoring example, if I were to run this program again, I would have tracked program participants from application to graduation. I would have linked them to their mentor profile and then added comments so that when they went to gain future employment and their employers contacted me for a reference, I'd be able to go back and see how they went in the program. We also use reporting dashboards to get a bit of a macro view on the program. This is a really simple one that helps us to know which projects need more volunteers and the volunteers available. I only have so many hours in a day, so this allows me to go in and allocate my time where support is needed most. The second way that you can make more impact with less is to lighten the load by collaborating with teams, volunteers and experts, because after all, JIRA is a collaboration tool. I never say no to help. For Engage for Good, I've managed to rope in 30 Atlassians who form our Brains Trust, and they help us to triage projects for feasibility and impact. Here is our Jira service management queue, where applications come in from purpose-driven organizations, we assign them to a member of our Brains Trust, and they assess them and then transition the status to accepted or rejected. Now, what this meant for us is that we could do this all asynchronously across three days. We didn't have to coordinate diaries. Everyone could go in, follow some documentation and triage these projects. And what this means for us in terms of our impact is that we can have a quicker turnaround time for our purpose-driven organizations from when they apply to when they get volunteers on their projects. I don't know about you, but reading applications makes me very sleepy. So lighten the load and avoid this. The final way that you can make more impact with less is to save time by automating manual tasks. In the previous round of Engage for Good, we had all these volunteers joining projects and it was fantastic, but I was having to manually link their volunteer profiles to the project so that I could get a gauge on who was already engaged and who I could still tap on the shoulder to join a project. And so, what we did was we automated this process and it saved me at least three days of manual and very, very boring work. I'll show you a, a simple automation that we use, which transitions the status from available to engage for volunteers when they have joined a project. Now, Jira has this no code style of automation, which means that it's basically the same as kids coding, a trigger, an if then statement and an action. If you are non-technical like me and you're still the most technical in your team, you can do this. Reduce the cognitive pressure on yourself. Reduce the, reduce the pressure to not make errors and hand the machine work back to Jira. How would you spend the time that you currently spend doing manual work? Perhaps telling emotive stories and celebrating wins. The stuff that reminds you why you do what you do and ultimately attracts funds and people to your organization. A side note here that we know that adding a new tool can face a bit of resistance from your teams. So connect the tools you already love. For us, that's Slack. The Jira app in Slack allows uh, notifications to be sent to people when there's a change on a project. 
And what this means is that we find our people in the place that they already are, and you can too. We've showed you how you can manage projects, people, and grants using JIRA to help you better serve your communities and achieve your mission. Whether you're a corporate foundation, a social enterprise, or a nonprofit, get it for free and start playing around with what you can do. Eligible nonprofit organizations get 75% off cloud, standard, and premium subscriptions with a community license. If you get stuck, you can also get support. Start with the new 90-minute Jira Fundamentals course in Atlassian University to upskill and be able to get started with Jira. Join our nonprofit community group where you can ask the experts questions and be surrounded by like-minded people. And finally, all purpose-driven organizations are eligible for Engage for Good, our skilled volunteering program. You're already doing amazing work. Imagine what your social impact programs would look like with JIRA. Thanks everyone so much for joining. As Lauren mentioned, feel free to click on the links, get involved with the university, community, and try JIRA today.